are so honored to have on Talk of the Town our next guest, James Berry. He is actually the Director of Fine Arts at the Hilton Head Christian Academy, but he's here specifically to talk about Jazz Camp, and he is the Camp Director for Jazz Camp, the Hilton Head Jazz Camp, which is actually funded by the Junior Jazz Foundation. So James, nice to see you again. Interviewed him very, uh, very briefly when the Christian Academy was, was doing Wizard of Oz which you said you sold like 1,500 tickets to that. Amazing, so it's good to have you. Thanks for having me. All right, Jazz Camp 2011 started, your vision. So talk about the inspiration behind it. Yes, uh, we started this um, small camp. I've always been interested in jazz and we had nine students in 2011. Uh, Bob and Lois Masteller kind of came alongside and, and said they wanted to help out with the Junior Jazz Foundation and uh, just was able to get an incredible faculty um, from all over the country over the years. And uh, before COVID, we had 130 students at three different camps, uh, literally from everywhere in the country. Um, and we do big bands and combos, master classes, improvisation, all sorts of things. Voice. Vocal so, jazz, right. jazz strings program. So it's really become uh, just a great destination for musicians trying yes. to take their playing to the next level. Is it uh, unique in the country or are there other jazz camps? Or There are other jazz camps. I think we're pretty unique in that it, for this region we're um, you know, one of the only camps that offers uh, the selection of programs that we have yes. and this is really geared towards high school students. Uh, okay. 14 to 20 is kind of our target audience. Um, kids who have been playing about three years or more to really want to take their playing to the next level. And so you have a clinic that is in June for mm -hmm. beginners and you also have a guitar piece. So talk about the June offerings. Sure, um, we have three camps. So the, the June um, 20th to 24th, we have our Hilton Head Jazz Clinic. Uh, that's three hours a day and that's ages 10 to 14. These are kids that are just wanting to get started on jazz. Okay. Um, and then the guitar program runs at the same time and that's for students who have maybe played guitar for a while but they've never really played jazz. So okay. learning to re read music, learning improvisation, those kind of things. And then the, the camp is actually in July, the July 11th to the 16th. The 16th is a Saturday and the kind of the final performance will be at two o'clock. So we'll look at the, watch the website to see exactly where. So during that week, what all happens? Oh, all sorts of things. Uh, we have performances all throughout the week. Uh, we start off early in the week with a faculty recital. So the students kind of get to hear cool. their mentors, uh, you know, what they can do. Um, we have special guests that come in from all over the country. Um, we have big bands, master classes, combos, uh, elective courses the students can take. Uh, it's just, we, we do a lot. And uh, at the end of the week, we're tired, but it's, it's very rewarding. And is it, does it all happen at the Christian Academy in Bluffton? Yes, um, 9 a.m. to, to uh, 4 p.m. daily for that week, those, those six days. Uh, we do have scholarships available, and we also have overnight lodging for students from, who are from out of town. So the website, what's the website, James? Uh, hhjazzcamp.com. hhjazzcamp.com. Mm -hmm. what, why is jazz so appealing to you? You, you, you obviously a musician, you're a pianist, also play the trumpet, but what, what is special about jazz? I think it's really neat because you can kind of speak your voice through your instrument, mm -hmm. uh, getting to improvise, getting up, getting within a certain structure, uh, getting to learn this music that's just classic uh, from all over the world, influenced uh, really here in America. And um, I think it's music that kids really just grab onto. They really enjoy playing it. And so um, the students, are they that come from all over the country? Have they already signed up? I mean, is it closed already? No, we're, oh. we're open pretty much until okay. late June. Okay. Uh, but we do have kids as far from as far away as Alaska that, have, really? that are coming. and. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you have kids that come back and back each year? Yes, uh, we have certain schools that just enjoy sending kids and then they bring their friends and so we do have uh, a lot of students that come back. It's, it's really like a family um, getting to see these kids every and summer. Then how important is the Junior Jazz Foundation to the success of this camp? Uh, very important. Um, the true tuition would be much higher if the Junior Jazz Foundation didn't help out. Um, also the caliber of faculty that we're able to bring in um, through the connection of the Jazz Corner uh, is really top-notch. Uh, we have faculty that have been nominated for Grammys and so on. Oh my gosh, this is so really pretty cool. It's that, really cool. That it's <laughs> right here on Hilton Head. And if you didn't know, James Berry does play over the Jazz Corner on uh, Tuesday nights. You play piano? I play trumpet actually oh. with a quintet. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. All right, James Berry, thank you for being with us thank you for on having Talk me. of the Town again, the Hilton Head Jazz Camp. There'll be offerings in June and also in July, culminating in July 16th. Thank you so much for Thanks being for with us. Thanks for having me.